Hey y'all, it's the costume jeweler and my cat mask. Not a bad hair day at all. I actually took a long time trying to get this all done up to go into this store. I always say I'm going out in the wild to shop for purses and jewelry for resale on eBay. So anyway, we're gonna go in here and look around at the store where I usually get a lot of good purses and sometimes jewelry. Um, this is a mask that I bought online. It's all wooden has these amazing teeth in it. I think it makes my eyes stand out. But anyway, we're gonna go in here and we're gonna shop for some jewelry and purses so that I can resell on eBay, ebay.com forward slash USR forward slash costume jeweler. So stick with me, subscribe, like, ring the bell, share, tell people about me, look at my page, watch my videos, and please shop my jewelry. Stay tuned. So you guys know the routine with Sunshine Thrift Shop. It's one of my favorite stores. Lots of jewelry and purses in here uh, for resale on eBay. Don't always find everything I want, but I sure look. Um, I don't normally have the employees take all the purses down that are behind the jewelry that are some of their best purses, but I need to start because I do miss out on a lot of things that I don't normally see just by looking at the color. You've got to pull them down, look at the brand. You know this mark? Edie and Agner purse, great condition, four ninety five. There's not very good lighting in this store, so I'm gonna do my best for you to see these purses. This is a nice one, but I don't know what it is. Uh, I say it's nice, the handles are all messed up. This looks like it might be vintage, but it's not. It's a Rosetti, so, so sorry for that. Um, that's what I get for looking at the brass handles, or brass hardware. Steve Madden, 1995. This one shouldn't even be on the wall. This one is really supposed to be behind the counter. Good condition on the inside. No stains. I'm trying to find the tag. It should be leather, but we need to check. It's not leather. Polyester. You don't want to watch me in a video hooking these back, do you? You want me to just show you what we've got and what we don't have. So this looks nice. No markings on it. Anytime the leather is kind of tough, I always think it's probably going to be something named brand. But I've been wrong before. Not a first time. Who out there is always right? Because if you are, I need to learn from you. Worthington. Oh my gosh, guys. This one right here is like somebody put some stuff in it. Okay, so this purse had a lot of everything else in it. I assume somebody was either trying to buy a lot of great purses or something. So I don't know this brand. WITH212. Here's a purse for $4.95 and it's from Spain. 
little bit of rub right here. But I'm going to show you the label. Never heard of it either. First time for everything. Great condition inside. Another great purse from the 495 wall. This one's made in Italy also. So I'm going to show you up close. Great condition. No stains in the inside. No rubs or anything. Four ninety five. Purse by the sack. Sold one recently. It took a while. Not gonna do that again. And not because it took a while. It's just because it doesn't sell that well. That's a Mondani purse. No markings on this purse, but this emblem kind of reminded me of true religion. So this is the 495 purse wall. Any purses on this wall are $4.95. Their higher price purses are always behind the jewelry. So, they're not always correct on what they put on the wall. I have found many pieces for $4.95 that I was able to sell for a lot more. Got your wallets. Don't always find a lot of wallets. Are there any purses out that I ever look at that you guys see and wonder why I did not get them? Because if there's anything that you ever see on these videos that I have missed, please let me know so that I can come back to the store and pick them up. Because I run through these pretty quick. I'm like this one's cute. Saddle bag. I learned that from a lady that watches my show. She lives in England. She'll tell me when it's a saddle bag. Who's Laura Scott? Who is Laura Scott? I have no idea who Laura Scott is and I don't plan to find out. Because I don't like that purse. Now look at this one. This is a snakeskin. And it's vintage and it's green and I've sold these and they're lightweight and they're vintage did I already say they're vintage but they are not gonna get it this time though I'm getting this hobo satchel. It's leather. You can just tell by looking at it and the feel. Very pretty. Exterior pocket. 
see who it's by so that it's striped inside. Not any staining. Genuine leather. Which we already know that. So let's see who this is by. This is on the 495 rack. Jack George's, an American brand. Never heard of it, but getting it, $4.95. It's really pretty for somebody. I mean, a guy could use this too. Pretty cool find. Tell myself some days that I'm not gonna come in and shop but I'll tell you what I'm afraid of is when if I don't this is what I'm gonna miss out on is getting some good things to eBay and the fun of it Koltov collections no idea Let's see, this is not a cute purse. Might be to somebody. I'm just intrigued by the tag. So it's like a wallet clutch. Got some staining, not staining, but a pen mark. Just never heard of it. I mean, I've heard the name Koltov. I've seen it before, I've never bought one. Tommy Hilfiger. So I'll give you a rundown of what I found on the $5 wall. Edie and Agner purse. This Jim Rogers leather. Or Jack George's, I'm so sorry. This leather made in Italy purse. This brand, and then this one made in Italy. Those were all found on the $5 purse rack. So now we're going to go over to the wall, or not the wall, but behind the um, jewelry and see what they've got. This one's half off. 525, so what's up? 275. So we're gonna look closely together to see if we can find anything good. That one's missing rhinestones. I don't see any jewelry, but I'm gonna check the purses and see a Dooney and Burke that I want to possibly get if it's the price is right. Here's their more expensive jewelry. That's a different bag. This is usually their sterling or precious metals, gold. This K 
case is a little bit foggy. You can't really tell what it is. So these are all the purses that are behind the counter. And this time I'm going to go ahead since it's not many people in here and I'm going to get them to pull them down so I can look at each one of them and see what the prices are. Because otherwise I miss out on a lot of good deals if I don't. Because I can't tell by looking at them what all they are or how much they are. So I'll try to show you as I look. I don't know what. I thought you knew. What do you mean? I don't know. I don't know everything. Oh no, it's okay. Uh, we got that rack right over there for you, honey. 